So earlier today, BAE Systems, I should say BAE Systems, broke ground on what will soon be the home of the company's new state-of-the-art facility. The company is currently leasing a building on Taylor Street, but hopes a year from now to move into a new plant on Ardmore Avenue. And that's where we find News Channel 15's Megan Royst. She joins us now with more. Megan. The new facility will be here near the corner of Ardmore Avenue and Airport Expressway. It's just a stone's throw away from Darlington Holiday Warehouse. Leaders say it will add more money to our economy and jobs. Leaders say it was the folks here who already work for them that made BAE officials want to build their beautiful new facility right here in Fort Wayne. For them to choose Fort Wayne certainly speaks volumes uh, about our city. All of this stems from BAE's aging plant on Taylor Street. Officials decided it was time for a change. And today, <laughs> they made it official during the groundbreaking. BAE could have built anywhere, but their employees and the momentum of the city made them want to stay. I think they saw that and they decided that they were going to stay here in Fort Wayne. Even though it was a very competitive environment, they decided to stay here. They're going to be adding on to their workforce. And we're very excited. In my remarks, I said uh, second to none. Uh, you know, I wouldn't go around to every place and say that, but uh, the folks here are completely dedicated to our customer set. Uh, they can be counted on time and time again. We get accolades from our customers. All the time. BAE makes vital parts that keep airliners running as you fly across the ocean and keep our servicemen and women safe. So the skill set of their employees plays an important role. Because they're put into an environment where they cannot fail. Uh, you or I do not want to be on you know, an airliner that's having issues of failures. And then especially if we, when we're doing uh, you know, military type uh, electronics as well, uh, where the lives of our servicemen and women depend upon it as well. Weather permitting, of course, they hope to be moved in by this time next year. Reporting live off of Ardmore Avenue, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.